Hey, sir. Uh, there was the news last week. Do you have any comments about the uh, the probation service changes? The, the figures. Look, I think the important thing to remember is yes, the probation reforms haven't worked as well as we would have wanted, but the reality is that we now supervise 40,000 more people a year than was the case before. Uh, we now have fewer people reoffending than was the case before. Um, when I took over Secretary of State for Justice, if you went to prison for less than 12 months, you literally walked out of the prison on the streets with no support, nothing. That doesn't happen anymore. And £33 million on the Eurotunnel agreement for effectively something that will mean just what the status quo continues? Well, the decision that we took last week uh, was taken by the Department of Health to protect drug supplies to the UK in a no-deal exit. In the same way these contracts were let in the first place, uh, after a discussion and a decision by a cabinet committee, because we had to prepare for all eventualities. You know, we all want to work for a deal, we're still working for a deal, we don't want to leave without a deal, but we have to be ready for all eventualities. This was a sensible part of contingency planning to make sure that we had all the resource we needed, all the drugs we needed, all the medical supplies we needed for the NHS. That's why the Cabinet took the decision it did, and that's why we collectively last week decided, however regrettable the Eurotunnel Court action was, that we had to take a decision to protect the interests of the country in, the, in this circumstance of a no-deal Brexit. And that's the right thing to do. Are you feeling any pressure to resign? Uh, I'll carry on serving the Prime Minister as long as she wants me to. Okay.